What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So it's midweek. Uh, I've got some stuff I'd like to show you for progress and a couple uh, couple things I'd like to uh, talk to you about. And I have a question for everybody. Um, so where do I start? Well, uh, I'm going to say I start with the fact that I got home today from work, checked my mail, got my new model cars magazine in, which is really cool. I absolutely love this magazine. I've, I've said it a hundred times. Um, I'm thumbing through it. Uh, there's some guys on here that will go page by page for the, with this. I don't want to steal their thunder, so I'm not going to do that. But there's a two thing, three, there's three things in here that I want to show you guys that just knocked my socks off. First one made me instantly want to build a full fendered Ford Gasser. That thing is cool. So this is a, um, a really cool breakdown of how to build um, a, this Gasser. So uh, step by step, covers a bunch of stuff with it. Um, it's really cool. And in the end, it came out really really cool so that's the first thing that knocked my socks right off right off I'm barefoot right now um second thing what a beauty so that's an army funny car built by chris soback um 1 scale uh, uh so i'm like i've got that one sixteenth scale uh, Vega funny car, the elephant or whatever, whatever that is right there. Um, I've been toying with the idea of building that. This makes me want to do that because the detail in this thing is just crazy. I mean, look at that engine detail. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. So, so there's two things I need to build uh, coming up really soon. I'd like to do a full fendered. Um, Ford Gasser, uh, and I think I've got a 31 Ford Model A sedan hot rod kit from Ravel. Um, it's the two-in-one kit. That might make a pretty cool Gasser, actually. Full fendered sedan. Yeah, that might be really cool. Um, <clears throat> so, that, that might be happening. That big scale funny car that should happen i should i should build that right i mean holy mackerel um but last and certainly not least uh lots of great show coverage in this this issue lots um but i got to the carolina custom modelers they they covered their show in this magazine I wanted to say on page 39, congratulations to my friend Matthew Inman. He got a car in this magazine, uh, and it just so happens to be uh, that he built that for the Street Machine Group build, which is really cool. That's really cool, and um, congratulations, Matthew. That's awesome. So if you guys don't get this magazine, subscribe. Really, you, you're missing out. You really are. Um, and at the very least, go to your local hobby shop. They should probably carry them. I know my local hobby shop has, gets them. So, um, yeah, pick up an issue or subscribe. You will not be sorry. Uh, okay, so now progress on the old Tom appreciation build. Not a lot of it. I haven't made, I've, I've been working on the USAC build, guys, and trying to button that up, and it's... It's just about there. I got like maybe a couple of hours of detailed stuff to do on that. And it's done. And I can move on. Um, which is great. But that has taken away some time from the old Tom build. So kind of going slow on that. Um, I did get the engine mounted in the frame. The exhaust done. So there's the exhaust. Everything lines up really cool. I'm... I mean, I was able to get everything to line up really good. Uh, the only thing, so the exhaust all lines up perfect, as you can see. 
you got these little elbows that go with these headers. These are the headers that come with the kit. Um, this, however, is not the engine and transmission combination that comes with the kit. Like I said before, I went with the automatic uh, so that I specifically, so that I could use that shifter right there. Um, so something is, something is a little bit off. I had to trim this front cross member just a bit to clear the belt on the supercharger. Um, now I don't know if the supercharger belt is narrower on the, on the engine that comes with the kit. I know the supercharger is much smaller. I don't know. Either way, I got it to work, um, just fine. And got everything wired. I had to put the headers and the exhaust on first and then wire this, fishing them through the headers to get it in there. Um, it was a pain in the behind, but I got through it. So that's cool. Um, we're going to keep going on this this week and this weekend, I hope, to have some something substantial to, uh, to show you guys coming up really soon on this. <laughs> um, now, my question for you guys is, it's the holiday season, right? We're two days away from December 1st, which means it's going to be Christmas time. I've got Christmas decorations up. i got my Santa Claus hat ready to go. Um, my question for you is what is on what model kits are on your Christmas list? What did you ask Santa for, if anything? Uh, so he, Blizzard's telling me. Um, so Heather and I usually don't buy a lot of stuff for each other. Um, all the kids are grown. They're all out of the house, except for Ryan. He's out of the house. He's grown. Kids like over six feet tall already. Um, but you get what I mean, right? So Heather and I get what we want during the year. We don't, you know, I don't have to say, oh, I really wish I could have this or that. Could, you know, I really can't wait to see if we can get that for my birthday or for Christmas. That, listen, if I want something, I go get it. Same with her. Um, so we don't normally do that. But this year we had a tiny bit of extra money. <laughs> Um, and she said, you know what, let's splurge a little bit and let's do Christmas for each other. Um, normally we'll do stockings and I'll get her one gift and she gets me one gift just to have something under the tree and we're done, right? Well, not this year. We made a Christmas list. Um, there's a lot of stuff on my Christmas list, not model related. Um, I collect G.I. Joe, uh, classified figures like him, uh, I I play D&D &D with Heather, right? So there's a lot of stuff on there, but there are some model kits that are on my list. Uh, a couple you will not be surprised with. One you will be very surprised with. So uh, myself, uh, I asked for the 71 Dodge Demon that's coming out from AMT. Uh, that's a cool kit. That's an all-new tool. Um, we've discussed this on the podcast a couple of times, uh, which thank you guys very much. Uh, for everybody that listens to the podcast, downloads, sends emails. It's really cool. Thank you. Um, I asked for the 71 Dodge Demon from a and um, the, uh, the 60 Ford F100. It's the custom one with the trailer. That's a cool kit, and that's coming out in December sometime. We're hoping to see it somewhere. Um, so that's on my list. Uh, in the third model kit that is on my list that you guys are going to be like, what? Why? Um, the Ravel P40B Tiger Shark in 148 scale. I've got a thing for World War II planes. I've got a thing for them. And that is a dang nice looking plane. So uh, in 148 scale, because I have some other stuff, planes that are built... They're all in 148 scale. So, um, that's why I asked for it. So, my question for you guys, YouTube content creators, the people that comment on my videos, um, I want to hear what is on your Christmas list for model kits. Or, I don't know, G.I. Joe stuff, or Star Wars stuff, or D&D stuff. Um, whatever. What's on your Christmas list, guys? Let me know. Uh... So, I cannot wait 
to see some of this stuff and hear some of these these answers because I love that kind of stuff. I love hearing what you guys want. I think that's it. I think we've I think we've covered everything that I wanted to cover today. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Um, as always, go check out Market Hobby Nut Models. He is having his holiday sale. Um, runs through December 31st, I think, something like that. Um, you go If you go to the website, you'll see when it ends. But um, click the link in the description of this video, and it'll bring you right there, and you can start shopping, and you can start saving money. Uh, so, yeah, and that's it. I'm done. Until next time, have a good night, guys. And remember, what do you want for Christmas? Maybe Santa will bring it. I don't know. Who knows? It's worth a shot, right? Bye.